everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today we're going to make a fun and festive cookie bouquet and give you some ideas, uh, a couple other cookies that, um, just other options for you to put in your bouquet. So first thing I want to talk about is the cookie recipe. We're going to be giving you that. Um, I like that recipe because it doesn't spread a lot and that's what you want when you cut out sugar cookies. Uh, a lot of times when you use that, the one in the grocery store, it just, you bake them and it spreads. It looks nothing like the cookie. A lot of times those recipes have too much baking powder in them, so it spreads too much. Um, baking powder is important though in your recipe because you it does puff up your cookies a little bit, um, so it gives a nice texture. Uh, in the recipe also is lemon extract. That's something that you can omit from the recipe. You can use any kind of extract you want. It, the recipe also has vanilla in it. Uh, you can just add two teaspoons of vanilla instead of the one and take out the lemon. If you're going to add something like a stronger flavor such as an almond extract, then I would just add one teaspoon of almond, one teaspoon of vanilla um, <clears throat> instead of two teaspoons of the almond because it's a stronger flavor. So you can play around with that part of the recipe as far as the flour and sugar and all that stuff. Um, you need to keep that the same because that is um, what makes the cookies or prevents the cookies from spreading too much. All right, so what I have here is my cookie tray, and then I like to roll out my cookie dough on parchment paper like this. This is actually fondant because I used all my cookie dough whenever I bring it places anyway. Um, it crumbles because it's just been out, you know, too much. Uh, so we're just gonna use this, just pretending that it's, that it's the cookie dough. So what I do is I take parchment paper and I put my cookie dough on top like this, and then I take a rolling pin and start to roll. Now if you want your cookies to be nice and consistent as far as how thick they are, then what you want to do, well there's a couple things you can do. Um, for thicker cookies like this, we need these to be thicker because they're going to go on skewers or sticks. I take, you can take two dowels on either side of the dough and roll until you can't roll anymore and then that makes a nice thick cookie so that you can insert the stick. If you're going to bake just regular cookies and not put them on a stick, you can use two skewers because you'd want them to be thinner. Or if you're um, lucky, you can find a rolling pin like this that has these different rings on it. See these actually um, remove and there's three sets. Um, so this one is good for just roll out cookies and then the next size up is good for the um, cookies on a stick and then the next one is real thick and that's usually for biscuits. So you can just roll, roll, roll until it stops and then um, <clears throat> cut out your dough. So since I don't want them to be that thin, I'll just go back to this um, because I didn't bring the other ring for that, which is fine. You can see this method. Obviously, you'd use a longer rolling pin. Okay, but see how I let that, because it's a short rolling pin down, so then I've got a groove, but this is pretty much flat. You can't roll any thinner, so that's nice and consistent. So what I do is I try to get my cookie dough all the way, you know, out as far as I can, whatever is going to go on the tray. And then I just take my cutters and I cut and I leave the, the cookie in the same spot. I leave a little um, space around them and then cut another one and then I remove the excess. So this, these remain on the cookie sheet. I'm not um, rolling them out, cutting them and then moving them and distorting the shape. I'm like, I keep them in the same shape by doing this. 